Okay, so. Um, ignore the creepy music in the background if this ends up going up on YouTube later. Uh, I'm about to play Hand of Fate, and that's the title music. But, so, on, well, yesterday, so on Tuesday, I was like, how many days is that? Uh, I went to the dentist to get uh, an extraction, because my upper back molar on the left side uh, had basically given up, and it was causing uh, pain, had tooth pain for a while. They gave me some antibiotics, and that cleared up the infection, but I still wanted to get rid of the tooth that was causing a problem. So, I went in, and they looked at it, and they were like, okay, we'll do it on this, this date at 11 o'clock. I said, okay, cool, and I went. And I get there, and they open, you know, ha, ah, and they, they put the numbing gel on it, and they jab the needles in it, and, I, and, and it all goes numb, and that's awesome. And he starts poking around. And he goes, all right, this shouldn't be a problem. And he grabs some sort of mechanical object and shoves it in my mouth. And start, And he goes, now, the parts of this tooth that are decayed are in pretty bad shape. So you might hear the tooth break. But that's okay, because it's just that tooth. Don't worry about it. And I said, okay, because I was expecting that, because, you know, you got to reach in and pull it. And if it's weak, chances are it's going to break, right? Right, no problem. So he reaches in and starts fiddling around with it. And then for the first time, I hear it go, crack! Which, you know, hearing something break doesn't usually bother me, but this sound happened inside my head. And I went, ah! <laughs> and he goes, you're fine. It's just your tooth. And I'm like, I know that. It was loud. <laughs> and it was inside my head. But except that came out with, I know that. And it was loud. And it was high head. But dentists speak <laughs> language. I don't know what you call that language, but they do. And he's like, okay, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> and he tries to yank it out. And he keeps telling me, you're like, okay, you're going to feel some pressure. And I'm like, I know. And then he's like, eh, and I'm feeling it just feels like someone's doing, doing this in my mouth. You know, it's just. And he goes, man, this just isn't coming out. And he looks up at the x-ray and he goes, oh, I see. I'm like, I'm like, ah. He said, well, you've got the three roots and two of them are pointing in two different directions. So I can't just pull it out because the, they're, they're curved, you know. One's curved this way and one's curved that way. So if you just pull, you just, it's not coming out. And I was like, oh, okay. So he gets out a drilly thing and he's like, right, this is going to make some noise, but don't worry. And like, okay. So it's just like, you know, and not, it didn't, didn't sound like Chewbacca. But, the, you know, the, he's like, it's going to vibrate a little. And I'm like, okay. And he goes, all right. Should be able to get it now. He's because he'd cut it into three pieces. I was like, okay. And he starts poking around, and all of a sudden I go, <gasps> and he goes, what? And I'm like, pain! And he goes, oh, must have hit a spot that's not totally numbed yet. We can fix it. Hang on, we've got more. And he turns to the, the dental assistant and goes, oh, wait, now that was the tooth area, right? I didn't just, like, pinch your lip or something. And I'm like... <laughs> Yeah, it was the tooth area. He's like, okay, just checking. I'm like, what? Uh, 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 huh. <laughs> Later, I found out what he meant when, as he was trying to pull something out, like a uh, a piece of something grabbed a hold of a hair right here, <laughs> and when he pulled it away, it yanked the hair out, and I was like, ah! And he goes, oh, are you all right? I'm like, hey, just pull the hair. It's fine. But <laughs> but anyway, so you get the stuff. And he puts the, the, the more of the numb, you know, he does the needle thing and puts more numbing in. And he goes, all right. And he goes, and he, and he takes it out. And he goes, okay, let me check. And he, and he pokes and he's like, here? I'm like, no. And he goes, here? I'm like, no. And he goes, here? And I go, ah! He goes, right. Let's just give that a minute. And the pain, it felt like, if you've ever had a, a toothache and then you, like, ate ice cream or drank something really cold, it was that pain, which I'm intimately familiar with. Uh, after having the, the toothache for uh, a couple weeks. 
Well, okay, like a week, however long that was. So I was like, it felt like that. He goes, right. So he left it a few minutes, and then he goes in, like, just like two minutes. And he goes, okay, hang on. How's that? And it just felt like this again. I was like, you're good. He's like, okay. And he starts trying to pull it out, and it just wasn't coming out. To the point where the DA, the, the dental assistant, goes, you know, you can let go. It's fine. That's what you came in here for. <laughs> And I said, well, I thought the, my mouth was never a fan of, of Frozen. But it came out, my mouth I had a Frozen. And she's like, what? And I let her go. She's like, oh. <laughs> I warned them ahead of time that I'm highly obnoxious and that I'm an entertainer by trade. So they were prepared for my nonsense. <laughs> but uh, after they eventually, eventually managed to get out the first part, they pulled out the other two with no problem. Everything is fine. Pack some gauze in there. Expl give me a brochure that explains to me what all I need to do over the next couple days. Tell me what not to eat. Like, apparently don't drink alcohol. I, I, I don't know why. He's like, don't drink any alcohol and don't use any mm, mouthwash with alcohol in it. I was like, okay. I don't know why. Something about that would, would interfere with the blood clot. Uh, and yeah, I got a dry socket. When I had my wisdom teeth taken out a long time ago. And uh, the way they treated that was they put this medicated like strip of stuff in there. And I don't remember that really because they packed it all in. Oh, uh, and I was just in pain. But this was years and years. This is in high school. But when they pulled it out, I thought that the damn dentist was a magician. Because he just kept pulling and it just kept coming out like a damn uh, magician with a uh, bunch of scarves. He's... And I'm the... Because it just kept coming out of my mouth. <laughs> I'm like, abracadabra. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> but anyway, anyway, so, I said, they shove the gauze in there. They tell me uh, what to take for the pain. It's just ibuprofen and uh, acetaminophen together, apparently. And then he tells me, you know, leave this gauze in there for half an hour. When you get home, here's some gauze. Replace it. I said, okay. So I go... From the dentist, I go to the store, because I was out of ibuprofen and acetaminophen. So I bought both of those. And I bought trash bags, and I bought some baking soda, just in case you guys care. Uh. And, mm, excuse me, I came home. Oh, I should tell you, as a lead up to this, I have a horrible gag reflex, right? A horrible gag reflex, horrible, it's bad. I have almost vomited brushing my teeth before when, you know, I go to brush my tongue because I'm, yeah, yeah, and I'm like, oh, like it's bad. And I warned her about this when she took the x-ray of the single tooth uh, the first time I went in. I'm like, look, I have a bad gag reflex, so this is probably going to be bad. And she goes, no worries. And to give you that, that bite wing thing that you have to shove in the back of your mouth and bite down so that the x-ray has like a back to it, I guess, so they can get the shot. And, uh... The first time was when my tooth still hurt. So she shoved it in and went bite down and I said, uh, and I bit down a little bit and it moved a tiny bit. And the first x-ray was just slightly off. And she goes, oh, whoops, we gotta do it again. And I went, sorry, I think it moved a little. She goes, that's no problem. I know, I'm gonna put a handle on it so you can just hold on. And I said, okay, cool. And she puts this big plastic contraption on it that looked about this big. It, it, it added a tiny bit to the actual thing that went in my mouth. But it didn't look, you know, it, it, it looked like it would work. And she shoved it back in there and was like, okay, when I get it where I want it, you hold it. And I, she put it back in there and I was like, oh, and she pulled it out. I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> and my gag reflex kicked in. And long story short, it took like six attempts to get this one x-ray. And eventually ended up with her, with me telling her to abandon the stupid uh, handle because that made it worse and just get it in there and I would bite down. And she actually got the dentist to walk by and push the button so she didn't have to run outside because I couldn't hold it that long without gagging. Okay, so back to now, I get home, I pull this blood-soaked gauze out and throw it in the trash can. I'm like, huh. And I get this little packet of gauze and I'm like, I wonder how much of this I'm supposed to put in there. So I open it up and it's this like pack of gauze. I'm like, uh, so I took about half of it, shove it in my face. Well, that's way too much, idiot. So I'm like, oh, oh, and I throw it out, and I was covered in blood, and I throw that in the trash. And I'm like, right, that's too much. <laughs> so I grab about like four four sheets. 
shove that in there. I'm like, okay, that's better. I pull that out, covered in blood. Damn it. That's too much, too. I got it. I'll do two sheets. Ha ha. So, look, there's only like four sheets left. I'm like, great. So, grab two sheets and get it back in there. Well, I shove it in my mouth and, and you know, hold it between my teeth. And then I realize none of that is actually on the hole. And I'm like, well, piss. So, I gotta pull it out, and of course, and now it's covered in blood. And I'm like, God, duh! So I have two sheets left. <laughs> I'm like, right, I gotta do it this time. So I figure out where it needs to go. I fold it up, and I put it where my in the hole. Like, like, I put it in the hole. I'm losing my headset, and I go, aha, got it. And I bite down, and I'm like, okay, this isn't so bad. I think I ha ha. And it pokes my gag reflex again. I pull it out, and only half of it is covered in blood, and I'm like... <sighs> so I flip it around. <laughs> and finally get it in there and hold it for half an hour like I'm supposed to. And I'd ask the doc, hey, can I have a burrito for dinner tonight? And he's like, yeah. If you think you can handle it, don't... Uh, yeah, you should be fine. Just don't eat the chips. And I was like, right. So I got a burrito... No problem. Everything's fine. I had no pain all night. I had no nothing all night. It was awesome. And I, I, I did nothing yesterday. I sat out in the living room and watched crap on, on Netflix and whatnot all day. I did not. I wasn't going to come in here and work and force myself to do anything just in case. And at about 9 o'clock, Bill and I decided to start playing Overwatch. Just come in here to play Overwatch with Bill. And the talking was starting, and like, by the end of the night, it was starting to bother me. But we also played for, like, three and a half hours so you know there's that Stefan Gothic joined us we were unstoppable we got all of our daily our weekly arcade wins twice once for us and then once for uh, uh, Gothic and Steph we just couldn't lose it was it was a brilliant night of overwatching but anyway, anyway that's not important and I'm, like, all right, I'm really tired so I took my last batch of drugs just in case there was pain, and went to, went to lay down. And when I laid down, I laid on this side of the face, right? Because it's over here, so I laid on the side of the face. And as soon as I would lay down and put pressure on the side of my face, I would feel in my mouth someone in there poking at my teeth and pushing them around. And I'm like, okay, that's in my head. I'll, I'll just concentrate and it'll go away. So I concentrated, and it turned into this. <laughs> and I'm like... And I, li I lifted my head up off the pillow, and as soon as I lifted my head up off the pillow, it stopped. And I went... What? <laughs> I put my head back down and... Just p pushing it. Uh, just on the teeth on this side, on the top, just poking at them. And I'm like... And now I'm laying there in the bed at like 2.30 in the morning doing science. I'm like, okay, wait. So if I lift up, it stops. So I put my head back down, and there it goes. So if I lift up a little bit, and I'm like, and eventually, the only conclusion I could come to was that it was my brain interpreting weird nerve impulses and feelings that are going on in here, and coupling them with the memory of the doc in there poking around in my, in my mouth, is all I could come up with. But I couldn't make it stop! It wouldn't stop! So I said, you know what, screw this. And I gathered up my, my uh, blankets and I went up to the living room to the uh, to the couch and kicked out the recliner and covered up and passed right the hell out without this in my mouth. <laughs> uh, and now today, I've still had zero pain. I ate a Pop-Tart. No problem. I went to see Aquaman with Mom. No problem. It was, it was good, by the way. Better than I expected. Better than we both expected. It was good. Uh, I came home, I had some leftovers, no problem. I didn't chew much on this side, but a little bit. But the problem that I'm having, like the real problem that I'm having is, okay, your, the brain is an amazing organ, right? It edits out things that you experience all the time. Like when you look out through your eyes, your nose is right, is right there in your vision, right? Apologies to those without noses, but you know, if there are any, any ghouls watching, <laughs> Got any sugar bombs? No, get out of my house. But anyway, like if you close your eyes and look down, you can see it. Or if you focus on it, you can see your nose. But if you're just looking around, you don't see your nose, even though it's right there in your vision. 
That's because it's always there, so your brain just edits it out, right? And it's the same with all of the constant sensations that we have, including where your teeth rub up against the inside of your cheek. Well, now I've got a full tooth missing, so where my tooth is rubbing up against the inside of my cheek has changed. And it's not where it always is that my brain has learned to edit out. So I constantly have this bizarre sensation that something's wrong with my face. <laughs> and it's driving me up the wall. Like right now, it just feels like, like my tooth is like, it feels like my teeth have jutted out or something. I know they haven't, and it's just because it's rubbing up against the wrong side of my face. And eventually, in a few days, hopefully, I'll get used to it and I won't think about it anymore. But right now, it's all I can think about. It's driving me crazy. So yeah, I have, I, there's no real purpose of this story. I just had to get it all out. <laughs> uh, so for anyone that is, uh, you know, that needs to get some dental work done, go ahead and, if you can afford it, go ahead and do it. Cause it's good for you. I felt other than, than that little minor bit of pain when the numbing uh, stuff didn't work quite right. I had no problem. I mean, there was some discomfort having to hold my jaw open for so long, but duh, that's not his fault. That's my fault for not working my jaw more. I don't know. It's nobody's fault. It's just natural. But yeah, and 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 I'll feel. I will feel better as soon as all this gets better. So go out and get it done. Don't put it off forever and ever until you get a damn uh, some sort of infection in there and cause a toothache and cause misery. That's all. I just wanted to share that story about my trip to the dentist and my tooth extraction. So uh, I can't tell. Is my is my face a little swollen on this side? I can't. I can't tell. I never can though. So whatever. But anyway, so that was it for this possible chewy vlog. I hope you all enjoyed my dumb little story. I'm gonna go play Hand of Fate now. <laughs>